Well, hey, there we are again. What's up? First time with two cameras. You know, you made it on YouTube when you were able to uh, record with, with two cameras. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, jokes aside. It's been a while since the last tutorial. Uh, to those of you who are new to my channel, tutorial videos are basically uh, me talking about a, a genre, a black metal genre most of the time, then recording a song, and at the end of the tutorial uh, we will listen to the to the full song. So that's that's basically the tutorial videos. I don't know why I named them tutorial. They are not really tutorials. This time, bestial black metal or war black metal. But you're not allowed to say that word on YouTube. Okay, fine. But um, before the video starts, um, a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by mugs. Because mugs are awesome, everyone needs a mug, you can put things into mugs, everything looks better in a mug, even I do. So, Bastille Black Metal, what is that? It's like regular black metal, just with less emotions, just um... Turn the hate up, you know, more, more power, more energy, faster, of course. Um, it it has a lot in common with uh, th a black and thrash or black and death metal, but it's it's more, it's even more brutal, you know. With uh, black and death or black and thrash metal, you are still able to hear what the guitarist is doing, you know. But in bestial black metal, especially in the early days. Um, you're not really able to hear what the guitarist is playing. Like on um, the classic of that genre, um, Fallen Angel of Doom by Blasphemy. And But that's not a bad thing, you know? Because the music needs to be powerful and um, aggressive, let's, let's say it. And um, so, the, the most important thing is maybe, maybe, that uh, the percussive stuff of the guitar fits the drums. Like when you do uh, palm mutes, jing, jing, jing. Uh, hey man, have you listened to that new Lady Gaga song? I think it's awesome, man. What, what do you listen to again? I listen to Bastille Black Metal. Uh, uh, okay, uh, well, uh, oof. Whew, it's getting late, man. I, I got an appointment and just forgot. Uh, uh, have a nice day or whatever. Try to, to do the palm mutes together with the, with the drums, so the, drum, uh, the drummer hits the snare when you hit the palm mutes. Like, dum, dum, dum. That, you know, just energy. That's what the music is to me, it's pure energy. Nothing more. But, nay, that's enough. Oh, what is that? A white guitar again? Oh, no, I, I I think I said it all about the guitar. There, there are no jokes left, I guess. I think it records. Okay, that sound is nice. Okay, I picked it before, to be honest. It's, um, I made it with the Amplitube 4. The, the guitar is tuned to uh, standard D, yeah. Like, uh, more uh, death metal influence. The whole genre is pretty much death metal influenced, I gotta say. Because it's just brutal, you know? But it's not that technical. But you can hear some death metal influences, of course. But the sound of that just reminds me of, of a riff. How does it go? <laughs> Something like that. Okay, whatever. Um, I already thought about a riff we can use in the song. It, it goes like that, it's just... You know? Simple power chord stuff. That's it. That That's... 
bestial black metal with blast beats. The drums are always all playing blast beats all the time, basically. Um, or some d d d I don't know what's what's the name of that beat again in English. I don't know. In, Ger in, in Germany, when when we have a band rehearsals, I always say to I always say to the drummer, play that the punk beat. To to me, that's a punk beat. I think it's called D beat. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Okay, that's crap. We won't use that. Um, but I hope you get the idea. It's fast. It's simple, but fast and powerful. You you probably gotta drink some coffee before you record or something, <laughs> or before you write riffs. <laughs> of that stuff for the guitars. As much tremolo picking as possible, I'd say. That's guitars. Nothing more to say here. I mean, just be angry. I mean, uh, meet with someone you don't like at all. and. Uh, after the meeting, you uh, should write a song about that person, maybe. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's totally common that you call people you don't like and say, hey, let's have a coffee or whatever. I think the um, sound quality is kind of too good. And that's not even a joke. Uh, I know, I know, that's a typical, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a black metal stereotype, but um, this aggressive music needs kind of primitive sound. Because it has a lot of it has a lot to do with the emotions the music transports to the listener, and um, the more primitive, the more yeah you could say honest or true to uh, use that word, it is. I think I emphasized that enough. It's energy, you know, energy. There is a video uh, Zemorog made about uh, about the the topic the genre. That's pretty um, pretty good. Uh, watch it, but first watch this video till the end. With the vocals, you can you can do what you want basically. Um, I think bestial black metal is one of those genres where the vocals don't uh, matter that much. I mean, it doesn't matter what technique you use. You can use growls, yeah, another death metal influence right there, and um, you can use a uh, high, high pitched screaming, all the stuff. Okay, that's nice. I like that about the genre. That's something that's really cool. And, yeah, it's primitive. You know, it's, ah, uh, no rules, except for, yeah, be fast, be brutal. That's what this genre is about. <coughs> uh, to be honest, I don't listen that much to um, best chill black metal. Maybe that's why I uh, could not think of uh, that much riffs, but I try to find some more nice riffs for the song. We are going to listen to now. People, why didn't you say something? I, I forgot something really important. The bass guitar. That's that's a bass guitar. Looks like that. It's um it's an instrument uh, for you know low frequencies. And um, this one is from Ivan Ness. I use it sometimes to show it in the video. And it has got uh, about 20 frets and some more, but you don't use them. They're just for for good looking, you know. I mean, it's a bass. What do you do with it? Basically nothing. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Right there. 
I guess I accidentally wrote a death metal song, but uh, anyway, <laughs> hey, I liked it and that's why I uploaded it. Um, it's probably already on Spotify and iTunes and Apple Music and Amazon and Bandcamp if you want to listen to it separately. Yeah! If you like the video, give a thumbs up. No. <laughs> I don't do stuff like that, okay? Uh, okay, um, here's another. I don't know, that's, that's 6 6 Samus, but uh, there's another video, and I would say, see you next time.